everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hattie, I'm a UK based anime figure collector and cosplayer. Um, today we are going to be doing an unboxing and I have been waiting so long to be able to open these up and get them on display. Um, if you saw my last video you'd be aware that obviously with university and everything else I've been really really busy over the last few months so I just haven't had the chance to film anything or get anything on display so without further ado I am going to show you um, the figures that we are going to be opening today. Um, I am super super excited. Um, they are from a fairly contrary controversial um, series. I think it's also a mobile game as well. I'm not too sure. To be honest, it's not something that I have seen myself, but I just absolutely adore the character designs. And I was really excited when I found these online. Um, I was so, so close to losing out on the pre-order of them because I just didn't realise that they were in stock. Um, but I managed to get them and at a really good price as well, especially looking at the quality of them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to quickly show you what they are. Um, the first one is Vanilla. And as you can see, um, she is absolutely stunning. And um, this is a Chinese dress version. So I'm going to start with Vanilla. Um, she is a 1 7 scale. And I got both of these figures from Gamer Chic, which is based in Glasgow. Um, amazing, amazing company. Um, I would 100% recommend going over there if you are into anything like your anime collectibles. Um, they've got all like Marvel and things as well. So honestly, it's a really, really good site. And they also do payment options now, such as Klarna, which makes it really, really handy for if you need to budget and be able to pay for things in installments. Um, so yeah, absolutely brilliant company. I will be putting everything in the description box below. Um, so if it's something that you're interested in and would like to check out, all the information is down there for you. So um, just gonna give you a quick 360 of the box. Um, so it comes in a window box packaging. Um, and it's just got illustration of what the figure looks like, as you can see. Again, on the back here. And then this side as well. Authenticity silk is just over here. Um, honestly, I have been wanting a Nico Pyro set for quite a long time now. I really, really love um, how the, the aesthetics and things, I just think they're really, really stunning. Um, there was another set I really, really liked, and I think that was also in like a China, China, China dress sort of vibe as well. I'll pop like a picture up somewhere over here so you can see what I mean. Um, but I think, well, I very much doubt they're ever gonna get a re-release now. So when I found these two, and for the price they were, um, I immediately decided to buy them. Um, each figure was £150 each, which is quite expensive, but for the quality of what you're getting from what I've seen from reviews, I do think it's 100% worth it, especially with how um, figure prices are like escalating recently. Um, so I'm just gonna go and open this up. Ooh. So straight out of the box you get obviously your instructions and the blister pack with the figure inside. I will just give you a quick look see at this. Honestly, she looks gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to open her. Right, okay. So I'm gonna get this out of here. Is there anything else is? So I am kind of hoping that at some point they might do the other Nico Pyro Girls in this style because I know that they've done a collection for the races and also the pop-up parades. And I think they would be absolutely stunning as a full set. Um, to be honest, I don't know if I'd be able to um, fit the whole the whole collection in. Um, well, I wouldn't anyway. But um, I really think Maple would look pretty and I think it's... Um, the, the coconut? Coconut. I think she would look really pretty as well. Um, Oh, God. oh, okay, so I'm going to start off with the base just to give you guys a quick look see. Um, 
So this is literally just the um, base. I do like that they have gone to some effort. They've at least patterned it. Um, but to be honest, I don't think it's all bad because they've got like this screen. And I believe both of the figures have got these that are attached to the back. I think it's gonna look amazing when it's all put together. I'm really excited to see how it... It does come apart, don't panic. <laughs> how it all kind of comes together in a set. Um, I believe that might be freestanding. So I'm gonna pop that there and then go straight into the figure. Okay, no, she's absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna show you. I will get some B-roll footage as always, but honestly, she is absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness, okay, so, and that's the back of her as well. Something that I really like about this figure, it has like the pearlescent paintwork on the bottom of the dress and it goes into like a more matte finish as it comes to the top um she's got glossy eyes she's got glossy eyes okay so yeah and um, oh there goes the box um don't know if you're gonna be able to quite see her but I, as i say i will get some more b-roll footage of her in a second um something i love specifically about the vanilla i think chocolate might have it as well but i won't find out until i open her up I love how her hair literally twirls around her arm. It's really, really pretty. And honestly, the detail of this is probably one of the best figures that I've had in such a long time. She's really, really cute. Um, and as you can see, she's got like little flowers just in her ears as well. The detail on the back as well is gorgeous. She's got like one of the little talisman like kind of tassels just coming off the back here. I'm just gonna go and put her together so I can show you with the screen attached and then obviously I will come back and show you what she looks like. So bear with me two seconds. So it did take me a while to assemble her. Um, her structure is basically that she's got a little metal rod for her front foot and like two little plastic nubs for behind so you can put her into the base. Um, the metal rod, really easy to place, but the two little nubs on the back can be quite difficult to manoeuvre and adjust. Um, just take your time with it. It took me a little while, but I managed to put her all together and she looks absolutely stunning. With the cat screen at the back of the figure, you can decide to either have it freestanding or actually attached to the figure. And it's got like a little um, plastic um, pulley bit that you can take out and just push the screen into if you wish to have it attached to the figure. Or otherwise you can just attach it to this little stand here and have it freestanding. But my goodness, I cannot wait to show you because she's absolutely gorgeous. This is what she looks like all to put together. You can see the screen just kind of behind her as well. I don't know if I'm going to keep the screen here or whether I might have it repositioned when I've got her on display. Um, I will decide nearer the time when I've obviously got her up and ready to go. But vanilla is absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, really incredibly happy with her. She's absolutely stunning. Um, the colours just fit seamlessly together and I cannot wait to get Chocolate up and to see what they look like together. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Chocolate now and I will show you what she looks like in comparison to Vanilla. Okay, so very similar to Vanilla's box. Um, we have got the exact same design, but in like a pink color. Again, I'll just give you a quick overview of the box so you can see what she looks like. Um, again, the authenticity seal is just under here. And it is a basic window style package box. Again, I'm really sorry the light is catching up quite badly. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start opening her up. I think out of the two, looking at the pictures and um, obviously the prototype before I bought them, um, Chocolate was the one I was more interested in getting. Um, I just really, really think her design is beautiful. But when I saw the price of them, and obviously um, saw that vanilla match so well, I decided to take the plunge and get both because I think they'll look absolutely stunning put together. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open her up. Oh, don't break, don't break, don't break. Oh. Okay, so. Again, 
again. So exactly the same as vanilla. We've got the little instruction booklet and we have got the figure in the Vista pack. I will give you a nice quick overview of what she looks like while still packaged. Just gonna open her up now. Okay, no, she is absolutely stunning. And I do think, as much as I love vanilla, um, chocolate is still definitely my favorite out of the two. Um, her color scheme is more pinky purple. So exactly the same kind of base, like nice purple and pinks. I will just show you where that little tab is. Um, I don't know how well you can see it, but I'll show you from the other side. It is just up here and it's removable literally just by picking it off like that. I'm gonna have the screen on, so I've just taken that part off so I can attach the screen on in a second. This screen again, exactly the same design as vanilla, but just in the purpley pink shade. So, oh, and there goes the screen, but that's fine because I'm gonna have it attached in a different way anyway. Um, and literally, when you want to attach it, just goes into there and you can slot that in, press it down, and it holds beautifully. Um, I'm very glad that this one has got two metal rods and just one plastic tab because the tab is an absolute nightmare. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what chocolate looks like. Oh, she's heavy girl. Oh, okay. She's got a lot more packaging around her, but to be honest, there's quite a few more flowers on her hair. Okay, with um, chocolate, unlike vanilla, her tail isn't actually attached. It comes in a separate little baggie and you can obviously attach it manually. I will just show you a quick 360 of her freshly out of the box. She is absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, with the flowers in her hair as well. And very similar style to vanilla with the pearlescent kind of finish at the bottom of the dress going up. Um, you can kind of see here where her tail will be inserted as well. Um, I love the oranges that they've introduced into the character design for this one. I think it really breaks up the pinks. But she is absolutely gorgeous and I'm so excited to assemble her. So again, because I don't want to break it, I will be two minutes and I'll come straight back. Okay, so I've assembled her all together. And this is what she looks like all assembled. She is absolutely stunning. And I love the contrasts between um, vanilla and chocolate a lot. Um, as you can see here, vanilla kind of has, sorry, chocolate has a folding fan, which is really, really pretty. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Vanilla kind of has a more traditional handheld fan with the floral print. And together, when you look at them, they complement each other beautifully. Really, really gorgeous. Um, I'm really curious to know what you guys think of these. Like, what one would you rather, if you had a choice out of the two? Would you like to see any of the other Nika Farrow girls in this style? Um, Honestly, after looking at these, I would be interested in maybe collecting some more, especially if they are by Good Smell Company, because the way that these have been executed as a whole, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm really, really pleased with how they've come out. Um, even like the hair and things, um, we noticed earlier that with Vanilla, she actually has like little loose strands that have been sculpted into the hair itself which is absolutely stunning. Like, I really, really love it. Um, 
whereas obviously um, chocolates and pigtails just seem to have quite a few more um, like random strands and things which just looks beautiful I'm really really pleased honestly I can't wait to display them and I will at some point hopefully be able to show you what all my display cabinets look like as a whole um, it's something I've been looking into doing I'm hoping to do it fairly soon for you and um, when I've unboxed all the other figures that I've got to come um, but yeah absolutely stunning figures I absolutely love them and I cannot wait to put them up um, that is pretty much the end of today's video guys I do really hope that you enjoyed it um, as I say please let me know what you guys think of these figures in the comments down below um, I'm really excited to see what you guys think because honestly I am so chuffed for my first unboxing in such a long time I am so pleased that um, these are the ones I decided to go for first um, Thank you so, so much for your continued support. I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, if you are interested and you would like to continue seeing my content and you haven't done so already, um, please feel free to subscribe. I love seeing how the channel has grown. Um, I'm planning to have so much more content in the coming weeks. I've got new plans. I've got some different ideas as well. Um, and I'm really, really excited to maybe experiment a little bit more and see what I can do with that. Um, and that is pretty much all I have to say. So thank you so, so much. If you have myfigure.net or anything, please feel free to send me a friend request. I'm literally always looking for new people to talk to and I'd love to see you there. Um, thank you so much. Please take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you.